Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm happy you're here today because I want to share with you just my little Hobby Lobby haul. I popped in because I heard they were having a 75% off clearance on a lot of the items from the previous year and I thought I'd take a look and I'm really glad I did. If you haven't checked that out yet, I do encourage you to go quickly because the items are selling fast. My Hobby Lobby was nearly empty, but I was able to find a few pieces that I am really excited to work into my winter decor and we'll be doing that just a bit later in the video. Um, so I do want to show you these items just very quickly. Um, and then also I wanted to let you know that we did a little bit of a change up here in my living room. We added in a, um, a different door. We took off the barn door and we added in a nine panel um, sliding door that was actually on my mom's exterior of her garage for a while and it was really beaten by the weather. Um, and so when we replaced her door um, with a steel door, we decided to take this home and give it a little bit of love and sand it and stain it and just make it our own. And so now it's finally living in our living room and I tell you what, I cannot believe how much light it lets in. I'm so glad we did this change. And you'll see as we decorate today um, what that looks like and how that's really elevated the space. Now, I do wanna say thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit that like button and leave me a comment. Let me know, how's your winter decorating? going what's the weather like where you are I did add a couple of pops of green here in my home because in Florida we have some weird warm days cold days so we do have some things that are blooming and um, I just kind of wanted to reflect that inside as well uh, I'm kind of excited to show you how we're gonna work these items in so let's take a look at the Hobby Lobby haul and the first item I picked up was $3.99 and you guys this little vase is so cute now it's pretty heavy but um, I just love the rustic look of it and the imperfections. It's got like this terracotta look at the top and then this beautiful blue green glazing. I thought this was a perfect piece. I'm gonna try to work this in onto my fireplace. I have a bluish, uh, like a gray blue um, crock uh, pot that I'm gonna use there and I think this will be a really pretty accent with that. Um, and then another thing that I picked up was these storage containers now i had seen these a while ago and i really liked them but i never did pick them up and i picked the larger one up for um 6.99 and it's got um, great storage opportunity but also this beautiful sort of stoneware earthenware look to the top of it love the weaving on it and the ribbing just lots of texture here i'm going to work this into my coffee bar and i also picked up the smaller one as well and the smaller one was 5.49 I thought these were so cute and you know I really think these would be great even for the spring and summer because this weaving does kind of sort of give a light and airy element so I'm really excited to be able to work these in these are gonna go in my coffee bar and the next item I absolutely love I think it's perfect for winter decor it's this really beautiful bowl um, it was the last one on the shelf at my Hobby Lobby if you are interested in something like this rush in there because the items are going fast I picked this one up. It was originally $29.99. I picked it up for $7.49. And look at the texture. How pretty is that with the discoloring and all of the different variations. Oh my goodness. This is going on my entry table, I think, and I cannot wait to work this in. And then the last item I picked up wasn't actually on clearance, but I did see that um, the spring line was on 40% um, off sale. So I picked up one item for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna decorate for Valentine's Day this year, but I do have one item. Look at how cute this little wooden bowl is. It's a heart shape. It's actually a pretty good size. Um, but I picked this up originally $18.99, but of course it was 40% off of that. And I think this is going to look really nice on either my entryway table or perhaps over on my table behind me there um, when it comes to decorating for Valentine's Day. But let's not waste another minute. Let's get into the winter decorating. I know that's what you guys are here for. So let's go. So whenever I'm decorating, I always like to start in the kitchen. It really does help me feel like the house is ready when the kitchen is ready. So I'm just starting over here next to my refrigerator with this diffuser. I purchased this from um, Walmart. It's the Better Home and Gardens brand. And I'm just using a light scent. Eucalyptus is my go-to this time of year. And 
Anytime I find these potted plants at the thrift store, I always pick them up. I think this one was originally Hobby Lobby or perhaps Ikea, um, but definitely a better price at Goodwill. And also be on the lookout for these risers. This one was $1.18. And when I paired this with the black pot, it kind of looks like one piece. So I really like the way this looks here tucked behind the diffuser. This just creates the right touch of greenery here in the kitchen and just this little moment that I really like having during the winter season. Now I'm keeping things very simple next to my sink. I'm just going with a glass soap container and then this is the hearth and hand candle that I had purchased for my Christmas decor and it got burned all the way down so I thought I might use it here just for a little pop of color to hold my um, scrubby brush. Now I definitely wanted to keep things small scale here beside the stove because I do have the air fryer just at the corner next to this and that's pretty large. So I opted for this little cutting board and a very small speckled neutral colored pottery piece and a glass candle. And to the other side of the stove, we're just gonna use the Christmas charcuterie board along with a concrete vessel that I picked up at Home Goods and uh, a glass butter dish and a simple candlestick. Now this picture is actually a page out of an architecture book that I picked up at Goodwill. I found a matted frame at the thrift store and I thought that would be a great centerpiece here for my entryway, along with this pot that I picked up at the Target dollar spot. But the stems I wanted to use kind of got lost in the opening, so I decided to just put a small glass inside, kind of to corral the stems a little bit easier and make everything stand up a little bit taller. And this little black creamer, I love the lines of it and the modern look that it brings to this very neutral entryway. I picked this up on Amazon. I'll link it below if it's still available. I really like the way the black picture sort of picks up the black from the artwork in the center. And here's my favorite bowl, you guys. I love this bowl that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just kind of playing around with how to use it, but I think it is a perfect match for the frame and it's gonna look so good here once it's styled just adding a simple candle and some pine cones to it. So I wanted to bring in a little bit more of the black and I thought the matte black of this hardcover book was perfect. I wanted to place this underneath the bowl as a riser that way it could kind of tie in the brown and the wood together. And then I'm just adding in this tall cake stand that I actually made a couple of years ago. It's got some pine cones inside. And then of course the little copper flower that my dad made. I love the color scheme. It's very simple and very neutral. It's great for winter, but it does have some depth. I love the pops of black along with the neutral colors. And then here beside the entry table, I'm bringing back in my grandma's antique chair. 
and a really cozy knitted throw along with a pillow. This pillow cover was from Amazon, so I'll link it below and just trying to round out that cozy vibe here in the entryway. Now I wanted to try something different over here and I had this piano bench that I thrifted years ago. So I just added in one more of those pillows with that Amazon pillow cover along with this pillow which is from Target this past Christmas. I just flipped it around so that the Christmas tree design is not showing. And then I thought I needed some height here. This is where my Christmas tree was and I really miss the height of that tree. So I thought I'd bring in a blanket ladder. I, along with this lantern, I've had this for years and I love the rustic look of it. And to round it out and create a little moment with three items, I did a DIY on this vessel. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I was sort of going for this uh, rustic, sort of found pottery sort of look. Now this gray blue vessel was a find from Home Goods, and I picked this little potted plant up at Goodwill. I thought it would be perfect here inside this vessel just for the winter season. I may end up moving it for spring. And then beside that, I'm just putting my favorite new item from Hobby Lobby. To the other side, I'm gonna add these thrifted black candlestick holders. I like the black sleek look of them. And then of course my favorite Amazon battery powered candles that I will link below for you. I use these all the time and I think they are wonderful. This basket was also a thrifted find a couple of years ago. I picked this up. I thought that would bring a little bit of a deep and um, dark textured look here beside the fireplace into this white stark space. I love how the fireplace came out. It's got a nice blend of muted colors. It brings in the warm tones of the wood and of course those black elements that I'm trying to incorporate. Now to the coffee table, I'm gonna use this hearth and hand tray along with this little footed bowl that I picked up on Amazon and just some ferns that I sort of broke off of a larger arrangement. And then to that, I'm gonna add some marble coasters and my new rustic wooden candlestick holders. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby for the Christmas season along with some more of those battery powered candles. We're moving away from the coffee table over here to the apothecary. And I really like the boldness of these stems and how tall they are. They bring a little bit of interest to this corner and they sort of fill out the space very well. Now I really like the way the book riser looked on my entry table, so I thought I would give that a go here as well. I just am placing it here in front of the mirror along with this bowl of pine cones to sort of round out that winter feel. I really like the way everything turned out this winter. And it's funny how with just a few small changes, you can really change the look of your home by moving things around and trying some new items mixed in with the items that you currently already have. Please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got some really fun things coming in the future for Valentine's Day and spring and I cannot wait to share it with you. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.